All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Groovy Music Bot onto your server and use it along with what features it offers for premium users so that you can provide streaming music to all of your members if they jump into whatever music channel that you set up for this bot. So it's as easy as add the bot and then start using the command. So first I'm gonna click this purple slash pink button to add Groovy to the Chupacabra's lair, and then I'm gonna authorize that. This does require you to have either ownership or admin privileges on a given server. And then it says, hey, thank you for inviting Groovy. And then it tells you about basic usage, the commands, what they offer for premium. And then you can go jump into the community Groovy server to talk to people about how to use the bot and what else it might be able to do. So let's talk about basic usage. So really all you're doing with GroovyBot is you tell it to play some music with dash play, and then you link it to a song or you tell it to search for something, and then it'll play it inside of whatever channel you happen to be in at the time. And I've got up all of these different commands here that allow us to control it in different ways. So let's just jump in to my Discord and search for something. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed some royalty-free music and we're going to go ahead and play around with it inside of our server. So first, just for the sake of showing people, let's go to my server settings and let's go to roles. And we've got this bot role, so we should be able to find Groovy down here in our bot list. And we're gonna add the bot role to Groovy because that allows me to see what bots are active on the server so that I can use them at my leisure. So we've got Rhythm, which is the typical music bot, and then we've got Groovy. So let me jump into the tutorial help channel and then I will simply say dash play space this royalty flea music that I found. And then now you can hear that the bot is playing and that you can add additional videos to that list. So let's go back to YouTube and we can just grab whatever, whatever is free. And then we can throw that into the queue. And that will automatically start to play these in order, just like any other bot. And then we can say dash Q at any time and it'll tell you what is in the queue. So that's really all you gotta do to get this working. And then if you go to the website, you can see the entire list of commands. You can play something or you can play something and you can search for it at the same time. You can see what's in the queue. You can skip something with the next command. You can go back to the previous command with dash back. You can clear a song from the queue. You can jump to a specific title in the queue. You can loop a certain song. You can get the lyrics if they're available. You can pause it, resume, remove something from the list, remove a range from like one to seven of the songs. You can shuffle them. You can, you know, all this stuff is available for you. And if you ever need to customize any of these, like let's say you want to be careful about who has the ability to adjust certain settings or be able to skip things. They even have a command down here that lets you modify the different permissions and all of that is explained for you here on the server. So I think this is actually really handy. Uh, and if you want to pay for premium, this premium bot, when you pay like, what is it? Four bucks a month or server, six bucks a month or global. It allows you to control the volume so that you can make sure by default it's not ear-shatteringly loud. You can add different audio effects. If you want to, like, make it nightcore, it'll just speed it up. Uh, you can add it so that it's playing 24-7, so it's always on. People can always jump into the music bot channel and hear something playing. And you can save the playlist, your queue, for later. So that's how Groovy works. I think it's actually a pretty cool bot. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. And feel free to throw any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. I'm always happy to help.